let's uh, let's review positive negative deltas, what it means for a position. We're not going to take into account any other Greeks. We're not going to take into account volatility, vega. We're not going to take into account um, time decay or theta or gamma or anything else. We're just going to focus on what we would want to happen based on a certain option position. So we know that call options, and everybody can see the whiteboard, right? have a positive delta. And we know that put options have negative delta. Okay, so honestly, when, when I first started trading, and this is, you know, 30 plus years ago, and I was clerking um, and knew nothing about options, the way that I remembered that is that if I bought a call option, I made money if the stock went up, I was bullish. If I bought a put option, I made money. If the stock went down, I was bearish. Put this up here. Okay. Now, for those that, you know, are beginners, those starting out, you know, it can be definitely a bit confusing. And it's very natural, it's very normal to understand the call side of things and can get kind of difficult at first to understand the put side of things. So I like to take this and I like to put it almost into a mathematical or an algebraic type of scenario. So if I buy something, okay, we're going to use a plus for that. And if I sell something, we're going to use a negative for that. Okay, so let's go through the four scenarios here. If I buy a call, that equals a plus, because I'm buying something, and another plus, because a call is positive delta. So if this was a mathematical equation, and I bought a call and I have a plus plus, well, any two numbers that are multiplied together that are positive numbers, equals a positive number. So if I have a, in a single option or a position with a positive delta to it, again, we're only talking about stock movement now. We're not talking about any other Greeks. But if I have that position, what happens? I have a positive delta, I want the stock to go up. So for example, right here in our Palo Alto, we can see right here, we have a positive 15 delta. Now it's 14 because we're live in the markets. I make money if the stock goes up. Okay, now what happens if we sell a call option? Okay, let's do the same thing here. Okay, if I sell a call, that equals a negative because I'm selling something. So it's a negative positive item. The item being a call option has a positive delta. Well, again, mathematically, algebraically, if I multiply any two numbers together, a negative and a, and a positive, regardless of what those numbers are, I'm going to have a negative result. So if I sell a call, I have a negative delta. I make money if the stock goes down. Does that make sense? Okay. As I mentioned, usually on the call side, people really understand that. It's kind of pretty straightforward. It's when we get to the put side, that can confuse people. So now let's talk about puts. If I buy a put, okay, I've got my positive because I'm buying something, but I'm buying something that has a negative to it. So I've got a plus minus, okay? So again, mathematically, algebraically, take any two numbers, a positive and a negative, and multiply those together, the result is going to be negative delta. 
I make money if the stock goes down. This is the one that really, when we talk about it like this, people will understand it, but when you have a position, okay, when you have a position with a short put, that is the one, and it's, I'm telling you, after teaching thousands and thousands and thousands of students, this is the one that gets to people. This is the one that is a little bit fuzzy at times. So if I sell a put, that is a negative because I'm selling something. It's a negative delta, so I've got a negative negative. Again, mathematically, algebraically, if I multiply any two numbers together that are both negatives, what do I get? What's the result? Positive delta. So if I sell a put, I sell a put spread, I don't want the stock to go down. I want it to go up. So when you see a delta position, okay, we just looked at that Palo Alto position of ours, which was a positive delta. We know we want the stock to go up. So if we look at, for example, our QQQ position, which is we have five options in there, right? Well, we see what? We see a negative eight delta. What do we want to happen? Regardless of what the combination of options are, and these all happen to be put options, some buys, some sells, what do we want to happen here? We want QQQ to go down. If QQQ goes down, the value of our position will go up, okay? So right now, this QQQ position of ours is trading roughly $2.35. It's got a delta of about eight. What does delta mean again? Delta means that that is the change in value of an option or of a position if that stock moves $1. Okay, we have a partial exit on our position of $2.50. So how is this? 235 going to get to 250. How is it going to increase by 15 cents? Well, we know that the value of this position will increase by 8 cents if the stock goes down a dollar. That's the delta. We want 15 cents. So 15 divided by 8, we'll do the simple math, is almost 2. So that tells us in this scenario. We need QQQ here to drop about $2 for the value of our position to go up to $2.50, approximately 15 cents. Is that clear for everybody? And I'll post this up into the room, but is that clear for everybody? Awesome. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you in a bit.